Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this wonderful tutorial on data cleaning Pascal examples, we're trying to see how to work with column names, right? So that's what we're trying to do today. So the basic issue that we're trying to work with is how to check column, how to check columns, how to rename columns, how to put underscores in all columns, how to replace a character, how to do uppercase and lowercase in column names, how to select all columns, column names except one. So these are the things we'll be trying to do, right? So I got the data from this place, this website. So generate data.com very nice size to so just fill in the particular kind of thing that you want then you add the number of rows if you want to add another row then you go to csv then you generate it right so that's what i got the data set on so now let's see how to open it so i'm just going to import our pda package so to put pandas as pd let's see how you can increase the size okay then i'm going to load our data set so it's going to be the other PD and let's check what that does it have. So checking our first and let's spell it so our first row is going to be df dot head. So our first row. So this you can see from here, these are our first rows. Right? So our data set has been easily and perfectly loaded. Now let's see some interesting things that we have to do with it. So let's check from df dot columns to check with the columns. Now we have this our uh, columns, right? You realize that these are first name, last name is not consistent. The age, salary is in capital, this having street address, these are small letters. So we want to try and then clean all of this and make it more consistent and more easy for us to work with. Right? And there's even some spaces here. So how are you how are we going to do all of these things? We'll be trying to see how to do each and every one of them in this particular tutorial. So let's check for the various features that we can have. So DIR and then df.columns. So with this you can see all the various things can do. We can transpose it, we can do all of these things can add numeric methods we can do many many things with this you can check for the type you can do a copy you can do a difference you can drop duplicates if they are duplicates you can do several stuff with this so let's see one after the other so now let's see how to get the columns as an array right? so, so sometimes when you are working with your data set you want to get all the columns as an array you just go with df dot columns right dot can, there are several ways of doing it. So one of the ways that you can do is to use to use values. So you want to do it like this. Values you want to convert them into an array. Very interesting. So that you can do whatever you want to do with it. So this this is supposed to be column names, right? So column columns column names. Right. All of the things are column names. Right? So how do you get it as col as, How do you get the column names as a list? So it's going to be very simple. It's going to be here dot columns dot to list then you're going to get it like a list without giving you this particular instance so that's how to do it right now in case you want to view your columns you can just go with df dot columns column names right dot view so with dot view you can be able to view it as you want it to be right so that is another way of getting it as a list or as an array okay now let's check some other things you can also check for the summary of your column names by going df dot columns dot summary this is being duplicated so this is going to give us a summary of our columns so we have eight columns and then they start from first here and then ends as email right? so that is one of the ways you can also do to view a summary of the column names now let's see how to convert our column names to a series and then to a data frame so sometimes you want to get it as a series you can just go with df dot columns dot two series to underscore series there's going to convert it to a series for us very interesting and also do the same thing to convert it to an array so let's call it going to be this to a data frame product to frame so it's going to convert the entire stuff to a data frame very interesting this is a series and this is a data frame another method you can also do that and also is going to check and see if your columns that you have so let's say we have this column here df dot columns I want to check and see if it contains a particular phrase so let's say i want to check and see if my column names contains a particular phrase there are several ways you can do that so one of the ways is that you can use the contains so let's say i want to check if it has first name it's going to be df dot columns dot by contains then you pass in the particular value that you want it's going to be let's say i want to check if it's have first name so it's going to give us true but then that is having first name 
so that way that is one of those of things so you just want to check if they are duplicated rows to can see the same thing so df dot columns dot duplicated so it's going to give you an array it's going to give you a boolean list right so false 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 so there are no duplicated column names so in case there is duplicated it's going to show us true here and you can also drop them also in case there is duplicated okay now let's see some other stuff you can also do with working with string that's where most of the manipulation comes inside so we just try to see how to do that so it's going to be df dot columns let me copy this here because we'll be using it throughout df dot columns dot string so let's see all the attributes that you can do with this particular stuff so this is the most important thing very very important to do a lot of stuff so what you can do is a class of itself and you can just do capitalize cut a center contains count decode encode ends with extract several several functions right so these are the most important thing that you can do with the string let's see how to do that so let's try and make all of them as column names with dots lower that means that it's going to convert the entire stuff to lowercase right but you will like to, to do that you have to bring the string case the string dot to lower you have to convert the entire stuff to lowercase okay. so everything has been converted to lowercase from the initial one in case you want to convert the entire stuff to uppercase it's going to go with the string dot upper then you have to convert the entire stuff to uppercase so you, this is a consistent so that you need to work with it in case you want to convert them to title case or capitalize, capitalize them you can also do that it's going to be df the string right then title you don't convert the entire stuff to title case very interesting in case you want to capitalize them you can also do the same thing so let's try how to do that so dot string dot capitalize right so that is one of the ways to do that so we realized that from here we had cap capitalize it so you can use this capitalize to do the same thing so copy yeah, so it has capitalized the first one. So first name, last name, age, son. Very interesting. Okay. Now let's see how to place the empty spaces because sometimes there are empty spaces. And then in case you are doing a select, so in case you want to do something like this, so let's say df dot something like this. If you want to select it, do dot selection, like dot notation selection. See, you can't do this. First name, right? It's not going to work because you can only do this. Because of the space, you have to do this before it will work, right? But in case you want to do the one I did initially, in case you want to do df dot first underscore name, then also you have to bring this underscore in between. So let's see how to do that one. So we'll be placing underscore in between all the spaces. So let's see how to do that. So to be df dot df dot columns dot string dot replace. Right, you are replacing all of those things, all the empty space in between them with the particular stuff that you want. You want to place them with underscore. If you see that has place them underscore them. Very interesting. So I can equate it and then work with it. Okay. So that's how to do that. This is very, very essential, very, very useful when I'm trying to work with column names. Now that you can also do this, I can also rename. So let's see how to rename our columns. So one of the ways of renaming our columns is to go straight ahead. So let's see how to do that. So this is the age. I want to rename the age to dates. So it's going to be df dot rename and I'm going to pass in the particular columns that I want to rename to columns. Then it's going to be a dictionary. So the, the old name, right? And then the new name, which is going to be dates of birth, right? Something like this. Because now it's going to rename it from last from age now to dates of birth. Do you have date of birth? It's date of birth. <laughs> So date of the perfect. So that's one one way of doing it. So in case I go back, I've renamed it right, but I did not set it as true. So if I go back to df dot columns, realize that it did not change, right? It is still age. So in case I want to make it permanent, then I'll set it as rename in place as true. So let's let me copy this one here. I'll copy this one here. Then I'll place it as in place. Let's go to true. So now it is saved. So if I go back to the other columns, now it is date of birth, right? Date of birth. Very, very interesting. So that's how to rename the column. And let's see how to check the length of the column. Very simple. Just go with length. Here dot columns. Right? You have eight. You have eight. Now with this 
eight. You can also use that same value that you have to rename it. So how do you do that? So we know that there are eight columns there. So in case I want to rename one, I can just do the same thing. So df dot columns dot values. Then I can select the particular value. So unless I want to select from one, let's say from zero to four. So I can select first name, last name, with this of them. So I've selected four. So in case I want to rename any of them, let's say I want to rename four or rename one, two, three. I want to name two, right? Which is going to give us date of birth. I can now equate it to the particular stuff I want to rename it. Let's say DOB, right? That is how to do that. Very interesting. Okay. Now let's see the next thing we can also do about how to select all columns except one. Very interesting. So let's say we have a column. We have columns like this. Oops, DF columns. We want to select all the columns except one. We want to select all these ones, everything except salary, right? So, how do we do that? So, you can do it with the normal values, but you can do it. the simplest way is just to go with this particular format. Go with df, right? Dot columns, then just going to go with our df dot columns, then we're going to do negation, right? Salary. So we're going to select all the columns except salary. That's one of the ways of doing it. So selecting all columns except salary. So the next method is select. There's another method of using to select all the columns except one using the lock format. So it's going to be df dot lock. Then I'm going to pass in my standard down to select so df dot columns, just like we had above. Then salary. Right, so if I go with this particular format, it's going to select everything. Right. The whole rows, the whole columns, but I want to play the column name, so I just add columns to it. So that I selected everything except salary. So that's the next method of selecting all columns name, all column names except one. Right? So these are column names. Column names. Column names. Right. Perfect. So let's see the next method. So the next method of selecting all of them using differences is just go with df dot columns. Then dot the different. Then you pass in a particular column that you want to omit. So let's say salary. And then perfect. So it has selected everything except salary. So that's the next method. Perfect. So that's how to use the difference to select except one, right? See what I spelled. I spelled as salary. <laughs> I think I've been making the same mistake. Okay. So df dot columns dot difference dot salary. That is the correct spelling. Then I just omitted it, right? So that's how to Select column names except one using a difference, right? Now let's move on to the next option. So there's another way of also doing it by using the, the negation, right, of the S now. So it's going to be df log. Then let's select everything. Df dot columns. I don't know why I'm bringing this dot columns. Dot is in, right? We are checking if that particular stuff is there. So it's in. Then we can just put in here some salary. Right, so this we do. when we do this, it's going to give us all you're going to select everything except the salary. It's going to select everything. It's not going to select everything, it's going to only select the salary, right? But in case you want to select only that particular stuff, only so it's going to select only the salaries, not everything, only the salaries, right? So in case I want to get only the column, if I just add columns to it. I'm going to select only salary, but in case I don't want to say I want to select everything but this particular salary, then I'll bring the negation to it. So, how do I do that? I'm just going to bring the negation by bringing it here, the one on top of it. It's going to give us the same thing. So, we're going to select all things except salary with this particular negation. Tiro, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Okay. okay, so now let's see the next thing we're going to do. So how to select all columns that begins with a particular word or phrase. So we realize that from here, we had street address, street name, and then street, right? So we want to select all columns that begins with street. So how do we do that? So it's going to be, there are several ways. The simplest of the method is that you can use dot string, dot start, right? With stats. Wait, you can just use this particular one. 
you start with then you supply the cat cluster to street so it can give us true 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 false then i can just put the entire stuff into a dot lock i lock or any of them yes i did it previously now bring it back here dot columns perfect so that i selected only the streets names right without the other ones so that's one way of selecting column name that begins with a particular word or character that is one method so the next method is that you can also use dot filter which is the one i like so the filter so df dot filter not df column df dot filter then you pass in the particular stuff so like so i want to filter everything like this particular stuff like street right perfect then i'll bring my column this thing can be do used for a lot of things so now it's going to select everything that has like bit in front of it or within it very very powerful very very interesting if i go without it like this i'm going to select only those columns like that so it's going to select all those columns that begin with that but i want only the column name so it's going to be dot columns right perfect now let's see the next one so how do you select column that ends with a word or character so it's going to be df dot the same thing that we did here so let's copy this one then instead of start with it's going to be ends with right so let's say you want to select all col col column names that ends with let's say the name a and e or right a and e for names so we have first name and then last name but that's how to select all column that ends with a word or a particular column so can also filter it use a use a filter together with a radius right so let's see how to do that so to be i don't want it here right can use the same thing with a radius so instead of like we can just supply the regular expression as radius then let's say i want to select all columns that has ame at the end that's why i'm bringing a dollar sign at the end so select all columns that have AME at the end. Perfect. Then I can set the axis. It's going to be it. And let's go to one. Perfect. So if I go with this, now it's just it only have first name and last name. Very, very interesting. So let's see how to select a group of columns. Then we'll be done. So in case I want to select a group of columns as we did earlier on, let's give values. So let's say I want to select some columns using the values is going to be i'll select the first column then let's also select the third one let's also select the fifth one so it's going to select first name salary and street name. so that's how to select the group of columns you can also use the same thing that we had here so here that's columns without the values then it's select let's also select zero two four perfect so that's one one of the ways of selecting the columns so these are the various methods of trying to work with column names not just, not just a column by the column names so thank you for watching this tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can just put inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit and also check the links below for some important tools to help you to master data science and data cleaning and then check the link below in case you need help thank you and stay blessed